Eyewitness News on the CW Philly. Our newscast continues over on our sister station, the CW Philly. Coming up, local winners of the original script Spelling Bee, and mm -hmm. we'll test their skills, and um, they're going to test ours. Are they really? Yes, they uh, are. Oh, mm -hmm. no. It's not going to be And some local Spelling Bee winners are here, and they're putting Liz and me Ugh. to the test. So are you a good speller? Are words like supercalifragilisticexpialidocious <laughs> a piece of cake to spell? Well, our next guests are definitely at the top of their class because they are recent winners in the Philadelphia Tribune Scripps Spelling Bee. Yes, please welcome winner Scott Salisbury, first runner-up Varshita Pomar, second runner-up Lena Greenberg, and Spelling Bee coordinator Mariska Vogel. Congratulations, yes. gang. Hey, thanks. Oh, shucks. <laughs> you guys are so good. We'll get to you in a little bit. But Mariska, tell us about the bee. I mean, how, how was it formed? I mean, how did these kids study? Tell us a little about the, the whole project. Well, the Philadelphia Tribune's been sponsoring the bee for 16 years. Mm. And it starts with Philadelphia's 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. And they represent public, private, parochial, charter, nice. and homeschool students. Very nice. I was going to ask you guys, yeah, like Yuki said, how do you even study? I mean, do you go through the dictionary and just, you know, look up words and, you know, do you start with A? And I mean, what do you do? You get a list of words? Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, we have. Go ahead. Okay. We, right had, we had a list they gave us from the website, and but also I went through some vocabulary books and that kind of thing, but that wasn't required. So, what's your favorite subject in school? Mine? Yes. Science. Science. Yes. Very good. Making A's, B's? A's. Oh, what about, very nice. I don't B's. B's, excuse me. Excuse me. How what dare about, you? And how do you study, young man? Uh, yeah, mostly just the list from the site, which also had uh, tips on how, like, spelling tips for different languages. Uh, and, yeah, just working on using those. Also, my mom found this site from the Merriam-Webster uh, website that had, uh, basically something that let you test yourself on those things. Really? Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, how proud are you of these young people? We're thrilled. We're so happy that Scott's going to represent Philadelphia at the Nationals. Uh, at the Nationals? And, and they were all terrific. That's at the Super Bowl. Ooh. Super Bowl of Spelling. Yeah, Super Bowl of Spelling. That's it. I'm excited. Can we, can, come on. We want to do, I want to do something here. All right. Can we, uh, you want to test, they want to test us or we want to test them first? Let's test them first. Let's test them first. All right. <laughs> That'll go spellers. much better. <laughs> I know the fantastic spellers. Let's try uh, we your some first hard word. Ones. We yeah. thought. Your first word is surveillance. Surveillance, um, S U R V E I L L A N C E. Surveillance. Oh, very nice. Ve ding, 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 ding. Very, very nice. good. That very was, good. I like how you did the the writing. Like you want to write it out, right? Visualize. That's you, exactly. Yeah. Is that? Do you have that? Is that what you do during the concert? You visualize and yeah. draw your fingers. You have and to. You have to. Okay, do it. You ready? Mm -hmm. Your word is <laughs> Mirachi. Mary Watch. <laughs> what? Pronouncer. Pronouncer. Pronouncer's tough. Oh, what did I say? Mirachi? <laughs> Mer um, go ahead, say it. I could it. go on and on, but no. Um, uh, <laughs> you, just go you can say it again. Uh, Mariachi. 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 Mariachi, M A R I A C H I, Mariachi. I'm scared That's of you. Impressive. You should be. I'm you scared of you. Oh, there, oh, we got a, Bob's got the bell in the back. All right. All right. Fortunately, it wasn't a singing I know, really. <laughs> I know. And the final word pomegranate. Pomegranate? Uh, P O M E G R A N A T E. Very good. Come on, man. We looked at that. We thought there's no way that doesn't look like it's right. supposed to be spelled that way. That's pretty impressive. And you guys didn't even need the definitions, or is that what they do? They give you the definitions. Definition. You can use Origin. it in a sentence. Origin. Okay. okay. Now you have to give us okay. give us ours before we give have to go. Yuki's first. No, Yuki's. How about what's what's our our word? This okay. is a collaboration here. I think you. Okay. Um, poinsettia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! P O. Come on, we we, I, do, we do it every holiday. We have them up here, and we and they, P O I. Have you ever spelled this word before? It's like point point seven. And we can't write yeah. it down. Right? You can't and visualize. Because you use I'll it in write a sentence. I'll it on my arm. Because <laughs> you use it in a sentence. Oh, um, uh, P a Mexican. <laughs> a definition. A definition, please. A Mexican and South American plant with scarlet petal-like leaves. Poinsettia. 
P, I'm writing ahead, it on my ahead. arm. P O O I. See, we're stalling for time because we have 30 seconds left in this segment. P O I N S E T T A. One more word. We have about 15 seconds to go. One more word. We didn't get the first one right. J A C A M A R. Jackamar. Is he correct? Yes. You are correct. And we will be right back. I'm the champion. Congratulations.